It's credited with dramatically cutting cavities and tooth decay. But could that fluoride in your drinking water be too much of a good thing? A CDC study found that getting too much of the mineral causes spots on some kids' teeth. And on Friday, the federal government said it plans to lower the recommended levels for fluoride in water supplies, the first change of this sort in nearly 50 years. When uh, especially kids get too much fluoride, um, it can cause white marks and streaking, but in a few extreme cases it can cause even pitting. There's such a thing as too much of a good thing. The CDC study found that about two out of every five adolescents have the splotchy tooth condition called fluorosis, a significant jump from the numbers just 15 or 20 years ago. They think it's been increasing because there's so many sources of fluoride now, not just fluoridated water, but uh, all, just about all toothpaste is fluoridated now and there's many other sources. Fluoride started to be added to water in the 1940s when scientists found it helped to prevent cavities. Today, most public drinking water contains fluoride, especially in larger cities. And once it's in the water... In our daily lives, you know, we have fluoride in any product that we eat that has water in it. So be it our popsicles and our Coca-Cola, our soups or anything else. So we have many more opportunities for exposure to fluoride. And therefore, less need for so much fluoride in the water supply. Really, the big thing is there's no change in water fluoridation. It's still safe. It's still effective as it was when it started to be put in the water 65 years ago. The difference is they're getting it from other sources now. The American Dental Association applauded the proposed reductions. This is going to help prevent tooth decay, prevent the severe dental fluorosis that some people in this country still have. The recommendations now enter a 30-day public comment period. A decision is expected within a few months. Kelly Daschle, The Associated Press.